Hello, this is Michelle Knight, and I'm going to talk to you today about the compatibility between Aries and Cancer the Crab. Now, I believe that there's no such thing as, as certain signs are meant for each other. I believe every relationship we have is there to evolve our soul and we can take the positive out of it. And actually, we just need to spend a bit of time understanding that sign. And of course, ideally looking at the whole chart so that you can understand each other fully with the map of each other's souls to have a great relationship. Anyway, in the case of Aries, Aries are very impulsive, are very fresh, are very spontaneous can accidentally put their foot in it by saying rash things or or losing their temper like a child chucking their, their their toys out of the pram but then they're very apologetic and they're very sweet and they're very loving they bring playfulness they're very charming they're great lovers they're able to spoil their partner and chase their partner and pamper their partner but they can also be quite difficult and demanding and bossy now, the Cancerian is a very sensitive creature. They like very peace and tranquility in their home. They need, fundamentally and most importantly, to feel very secure in a relationship and, and very safe. So if you're an Aries and you're having a relationship with a Cancerian, you know, you have to think about the things that you say to them. I mean, I know I'm an Aries too, so we may rashly say something and expect the Cancerian to get over it. A Cancerian may not necessarily do that. They may kind of scuttle sideways and lick their wounds and think about things. So a Cancerian is here to teach an Aries how to be gentle. And the Aries is here to teach the Cancerian how to be a bit more playful and maybe a bit more direct. Because the one gift of an Aries is they're going to tell you exactly how it is. And a Cancerian can maybe learn that don't necessarily go sideways or hide under your shell, but maybe the Aries can treat, see, show you how to speak your mind. Now, sexually, these two can be very compatible because the Cancerian loves to be coaxed out of their shell and then they will surrender all their softness. And the Aries is a bit of a hunter when it comes to love. They love to seduce. They, they love to be, to be chivalrous. They love to be, to be charming and entertaining and, and make their partner laugh. And they're actually quite romantic in their own way if they're not being selfish and wanting to do something which, which is often a different direction. Direction. And the Cancerian really admires the Aries bravery and the Aries loves the sensitivity and the nurturing. Aries love cancer. cancer. If you listen to this, Aries love to be cooked for, nurtured, run your Aries a bath, give them a massage. And they're like, wow, this is amazing. Because actually somewhere deep within themselves, they don't really think they're worth that. They're, they just like to give, give, give. So ultimately, these two can teach each other a lot. But the other sort of shadow side of both is... If a Cancerian feels threatened, they can end up being a little bit manipulative or play games or be kind of a little bit elusive or do something which isn't direct because they're feeling vulnerable and insecure. And that could drive an Aries nuts. But on the other hand, an Aries does quite like a challenge. So these two, you have to understand each other. You have to meet each other halfway. Cancer, be a bit more direct, be a bit more playful and Aries. Learn to be on your best behavior and to really understand that if you're insensitive to a cancer and it's not going to work. Anyway, I, I wish you both well and I send you all my love. Take care.